How to Keep a Narcissist from Leaving You. In order to keep a narcissist from leaving you, you need to chain them to the radiator in the basement of your property. Aside from that, you should be asking yourself the question, why on earth do I want to keep a narcissist from leaving me? When you realize that you are dealing with a narcissist, you must obey the first golden rule of freedom, which is once you know, you go, you get out, and you stay out. The principle of go-so. When you realize that you're dealing with a narcissist, your priority should be effecting your immediate escape or planning for an intermediate escape and thereafter maintaining a no-contact regime so that you cannot be hoovered and that you resist being drawn in and you resist the provision of fuel, character traits and residual benefits even if the narcissist is not hoovering to try and draw you back into the formal relationship with him or her. If you are asking yourself the question of how do I keep a narcissist from leaving me, you are operating with emotional thinking. This is thinking that isn't hysterical, but it is thinking in the absence of logic. Logic tells you that since you're dealing with a narcissist, this individual's behaviour towards you will never alter permanently. They will continue to abuse you in some form. That they do not love you, they do not care you, care for you, they are not interested in you for you. We are only interested in asserting control over you, gathering fuel from you, character traits and residual benefits. Although the majority of narcissists, being unaware, don't realise that's why they're doing it. They think that they love you. They think that they care for you. They think that they're interested in you for you. But they are not. They cannot be, because they are narcissists. It might be that you want to stop the narcissist from leaving you, because... You want to keep them in situ, perhaps to exact some form of revenge upon them. And whilst at first blush that might appear to be a legitimate reason, it is not. You are being led by your emotional thinking, and you should not be doing anything that would prevent a narcissist from leaving you. It might be that you believe that the relationship can be somehow salvageable, that you've been misled by the rubbish that is poured out by poor YouTube channels about the fact that somehow you can have a meaningful relationship with a narcissist. You cannot. Where it is an intimate relationship with the narcissist, the outcome is only ever going to be one which is detrimental to you. And therefore, it is not logical to try and keep that relationship alive. It is not logical to try and keep the narcissist from leaving you. It might be that you form the view, well, something is better than nothing. That is emotional thinking. It might be that you think, well, although things aren't good at the moment, they were once magical and wonderful, and with a bit of effort we can both get back to that. That is emotional thinking. You might think, well, I don't want them to leave because it'll provide, it will create financial problems for me, or difficulties with regard to the children. Again, at first blush, they may look like legitimate reasons, but they are not. Your emotional thinking is seizing hold of those issues in order to utilise fear to keep you in place. It might be that you believe that notwithstanding the unpleasant behaviour that the narcissist meets out towards you, that there is some good in there. There is not. And that is emotional thinking. There is no logical reason to maintain a relationship with the narcissist. There is no logical reason to try and keep a narcissist from leaving you. So, the first point is that if you are thinking, is there some way that I can keep a narcissist from leaving me? You need to ask yourself, why on earth am I thinking that way? And the answer is, your addiction to the narcissist as a consequence of being an empath results in the creation of emotional thinking, which in turn generates flawed logic, making you think that your decision-making is sound when it patently is not, when viewed by an objective individual unaffected by your emotional thinking, i.e. me. Thereafter, of course, even though you should not even be contemplating the possibility of keeping the narcissist from leaving you, you should also understand that 
you can't do anything about it, other than, as I say, chain the narcissist to the radiator in the basement. Once the narcissist decided that they are going, they will go. It might be that the narcissist has decided to end the relationship with you where your intimate partner's secondary source or a non-intimate secondary source. Your position of mistress has been terminated. Your friendship with the narcissist is terminated. That is unusual. And more often, the narcissist might say that, but their action belies what is actually going on, and you've just been placed back on the shelf, and you'll be hoovered off it again at some future point, if you allow it to happen. Where you're the intimate partner, sec intimate partner primary source of the narcissist, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, cohab, etc., and the narcissist ends the relationship, sometimes you won't, be even, won't even be told that that is happening. But where the narcissist has done this or has decided to do this, then in such circumstances, not only should you not be trying to prevent it, you can't. The simple fact is, you are not in a position to control somebody who must not be controlled. Your actions will be perceived by the narcissist through that world lens of control as threatening that control. Your attempt to try and get the narcissist to stay will result in failure. You will end up providing fuel to the narcissist, thus the narcissist wins. You are likely to suffer an adverse consequence. The narcissist may turn violent with you, may give you a tongue lashing, may make unpleasant remarks about you, triangulate you unfavorably with the individual that they're leaving you for, comment about other members of your family and your friends in an adverse way, denigrate you for your appearance, reject what you have to say, making you upset, hurt, frustrated and angry. And of course, by continuing an interaction with the narcissist, you will increase your emotional thinking, which means that you will not see things clearly. No good can come of this continued interaction with the narcissist. You cannot prevent a narcissist from leaving you. If the narcissist engages in a volt fast and then decides not to go, this isn't because of what you have done. This isn't because you've somehow threatened the narcissist so that he has to stay, or that you have persuaded the narcissist so she stays. All it is is that at that point, the narcissist's need for the assertion of control has altered so that they determine, through their narcissism, that the most appropriate thing is for them to remain. You did not cause this. The narcissist did. The narcissist decided because the narcissism resulted in that outcome occurring. More usually, however, the narcissist will stick with the projected course of departure and you must not stand in the way. Indeed, where the narcissist disengages from you, although it will hurt you, although it will make you feel miserable, the narcissist is actually doing you a favour. You are now no longer an a reliable appliance, and you are being cast onto the scrap heap. Understand, of course, this is actually temporary, because there is a risk, subject to your no-contact regime, that you will be hoovered at a later juncture. But for now, you are now persona non grata. You are not wanted, not needed. You are a nothing. And the narcissist disappears off, unfair as it may be, into the sunset with somebody else. And in such circumstances... No matter how much it hurts you, and of course that is the product of your emotional thinking causing you to feel hurt, because by rights, logically, you should think, thank God that lunatic has left me at long last. But instead, the pain that you experience isn't logical. Yes, you have formed an emotional attachment to this individual, but this individual is not who you thought they were. The individual is a charlatan, a fraudster, a liar, and an abuser. And logically, the answer should be, thank goodness they have left me, I now have a head start upon the no-contact regime while they are focused elsewhere. I will use this opportunity to build my defences high. I will purge any reminder of the narcissist. I will reduce my emotional thinking so that as and when that hoover happens, I will either not know about it or if it does occur, I will be best placed to resist it as a consequence of my reduced emotional thinking. Instead, People focus upon trying to get the narcissist to come back, exacting revenge against the narcissist, trying to counter the smearing that will have occurred, embarking upon a PR campaign to try and explain how they are the one that hasn't done anything wrong. All of those will result in breaches of no contact, but those are matters for a different discussion. In this instance, if you are, find yourself asking, how can I keep the narcissist from leaving me, 
First of all, you should realise that is the wrong question and it is being driven by your emotional thinking and you should allow the narcissist to go. And, moreover, you should understand that you can't stop a narcissist from leaving you. The narcissist must not be controlled. The narcissist will act with that sense of entitlement, lack of emotional empathy and lack of accountability. And no matter how unfair, how painful, how unpleasant the behaviour is, there remains no logical reason for trying to stop it happening. Do not fight against it. Push down that emotional thinking. Embark upon your no-contact regime and realise, as you will come to do in the future, that the narcissist has actually done you a favour. This is the Tudor Treatment. I am H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.